want me then, they want me now, did not want me to win, but now they proud. Hey guys, what's up? It's Mercedes Michelle. Welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. So today we are going to be talking about budgeting and saving money in 2019 and how you can budget and save money. So I started my budget journey in 2018 and let me tell you it was the best decision I have made in a long time. So I started just first budgeting my money and the way I did this was just getting a pen and some paper and I wrote out all of my bills my expenses where my money should have been going and then once I wrote out this number I was like okay so it's saying that I should have this amount left over after I do all of this so where is this leftover money going and I couldn't account for it. I couldn't explain where it was going. It was pretty much being spent on fast food, unnecessary just spending habits, just buying things at the spur of the moment, not having money saved when things like car maintenance came up and oil changes and tags and just vacations, just doing it at the spur of the moment, not really saving anything, just taking from my checks. This caused me to swipe credit cards, to get into debt, to not be smart with my finances. And in 2018, I just had had enough. I was coming out of a real rough year in 2017 because I had just finally got a new job. I started a new job. It was the beginning of 2017 because I got laid off at the end of 2016 um, at a job that I was at for four years and that department that I worked in was closing I didn't have any money saved I didn't really you know know what to expect I had never been laid off from a job I didn't know if I was going to be able to find a job fast so it was definitely a t a trying time for me and it was a time for me to get on myself. I was a single parent. I had bills. I had to raise this child and I still had to figure out how all of this was going to get done without a job at that time. So, um, laid off from my job, you do receive like a servant's package and things like that. So I did make those things stretch. I did utilize unemployment and all of that, but it was definitely not the amount of money you actually make when you're working. So in that time, I was just applying for jobs, trying to look for jobs, trying to figure out what it was that I was going to do. And this was in 2016. So I finally got a job, but it didn't start until March of 2017. So in that time, I was still having a budget. I, I was still having to figure out how I was going to pay my bills. Um, the severance package, I used it to, of course, pay up rent and stuff, but I still had other bills. It wasn't like a huge severance package and you get taxed crazy on it. So I was turning to using my credit cards and stuff just to survive, basically. And I just... I just knew that I like I wasn't struggling to be honest because I had those credit cards but I felt like I could have been in a better position if I would have prepared and saved money so all in all 2017 was a rough year for me I started working part-time I was going back to school and I was paying for my education to go back to school out of pocket and I actually had to use a credit card to pay for one of my classes because I just could not afford it so all of that put me in a really it put me in a different place and it made me want to just start saving money I wasn't just like doing bad my lights wasn't off um my child was still eating but it was just a simple fact that I did not want that to happen again so I started budgeting I started saving and I just took it serious at the end at the beginning of 2018 it was towards the end of 2017 when I started you know actually prepping to start my budget but it was 2018 that I actually started implementing it and I started to see a huge difference in where my money was going I was knowing like where my money was going instead of just guessing where it was going and it just was a stress reliever it felt different it felt better it felt good if you're someone who's looking to start budgeting I would always recommend to do it and first to just sit down with pen and paper and write down every single thing that your household spends 
and I don't care if it's going out to eat every day or once a day or once a week every single thing that you are doing write it down being a millennial we tend to just turn to our debit cards and swipe 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 and most of the time we don't even look at our bank statements and if we do we can't even account for what we bought at walmart that day or what we bought at kroger that day we just know we went and we got something and it's showing on my bank statement but a lot of times we don't know what those items were, what we needed them for, what was the purpose of even purchasing them, and I don't even know what I did with whatever I was purchasing at this time. So I started the cash envelope system because it gave me an idea of physically seeing where my money was going and I'm not someone who likes to go to the gas station and have to go in and pay for gas so with gas it was a struggle at first because I did start off using cash envelopes for gas and then I quickly reverted back to my debit card but it's all trial and error you have to figure out what works for you and your family and your needs and you know you figure it out you can't base it off of what someone else is doing because sometimes it gets overwhelming and you start to think that it's not working for you because you're trying to literally do it exactly like this other person it's okay to relate to other individuals like myself I related to so many people on YouTube who were budgeting however their circumstances were totally different from mine I was a single mom I was in school I was part-time working and I didn't have a significant other or a partner to go have on these bills it was me 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 and a lot of other youtubers and financial youtubers who actually do their budget and stuff had that two-parent household or had that partner to you know split the bills with which I did not have so I couldn't really relate in every area but I did gain something from each of those different youtubers that I was watching a lot of people weren't on a debt-free journey either some people were just budgeting their money as for me I wanted to get out of debt that was my purpose of starting my budget and I also wanted to save money because I didn't want to fall on hard times especially being a single mom so look for people who you can relate to they don't technically have to have everything in common with you they don't have to look like you they don't have to walk like you because you'll be surprised what you can gain from those individuals so I started my personal budgeting on my YouTube because I wanted to be someone that others could relate to that were in my shoes that, you know, were dealing with the financial situation that I was dealing with because I didn't see that many single moms who actually were budgeting and I felt like we should be the ones who are really out there trying to budget and think about our finances, think about our children's futures, think about their savings, think about our savings because at the end of the day that we're all they have if you're a single parent most of the time that's how it works now if you're a single mom your relationship status is just single but you do have that other parent technically you can still be a single parent because at the end of the day if your child is with you 24 7 360 or 50 days out of the year you're technically still doing it full time by yourself so I know that single parent, single mom thing kind of gets a little confusing sometimes, but I wanted to relate to those individuals who probably were wondering, like, how do I start? Where do I start? Nobody on this YouTube, in this YouTube community really relates to me. Yeah, I'm trying to gain different things from them, but I really just want to sit down and see someone with a single income as a parent and how I can relate to them. So that's what I did and I started this budgeting thing and it's been a really success for a lot of you guys and myself and it's definitely pushed me to continue to go harder and just to stay on top of my finances and start a savings. I didn't come from money. I didn't come from people telling me how to save money. I however did have a mom who told me how important it was for credit because honestly we don't think credit is important but it really is if you ever want to buy a house if you ever want to finance a vehicle if you ever want to get car insurance a lot of people don't know your credit involves those things and it dictates how much you're going to be paying for those things so definitely all of that 
was has always been important to me money savings credit all of that has always been important to me but i had never been in a situation where i had to struggle with those things and when like i said in 2016 going into 2017 i got laid off that was my trying time and that's when i realized how important it was to really get on top of your finances so if you guys have follow me and you follow my journey then I can give you a ton of videos on financing and savings and budgeting and you would have to take that information and you know sit down and make it your own but I felt like I felt the need to just come and talk to you guys and tell you guys it is important to save it is important to budget sometimes we do have to live for the future and not so much just for today and at the end of the day if you believe in God if you believe in a higher power then you know this world is already planned out for us all we can do is kind of make the best of it and kind of try to follow and align our beliefs and our understandings with what's already planned for us but you can make it easier you can make it better for yourself by doing the necessary steps and if you want nice things you want to do nice things you want to live life you want to have fun you can do those things but do it wisely and do it on a budget and do it to where you're not suffering when you come back from those nice things and from doing those nice things you still can live and breathe and won't have worry or stress and if you guys don't know money is the root of all evil it, it takes a toll on a lot of people because we're not wise with it to be honest we just go out and we splurge and then we think about what we did later instead of just thinking up front do I really need this or do I just want this so all in all I my channel is to help you guys and to inspire you guys and motivate you guys to do what's best for you at the end of the day and I want to just be a light and to be a story to tell to you guys if you you know don't think it's possible you don't think it's for you that it is and it is possible and it can be for you you just have to figure it out and figure out how it aligns in your life and how it will work out for you but I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know I did a whole bunch of rambling but I just wanted to come and talk to you guys and hopefully motivate you to get on this budget journey or finance journey and just get on top of your finances and do what you've always wanted to do and just go hard at whatever it is and be a blessing to your children learn something that you can teach to them and they can pass on become smart with their finances but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up make sure you hit that notification bell and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in my next video bye guys